Ryan Sogalia here. Uh, everybody in the boss game knows this kid. He's been knowing him since the South Florida days. Uh, good to see you in Vegas. What do you think of the Pacquiao Bradley rematch? I think that both guys have a lot to lose. Bradley's been fighting so hard for that respect that he really does deserve. And if he loses, he doesn't have it. And if Manny loses, it's the end of the road for him because this guy has no business beating him. What did you take away from the first fight and how does that change your impression of the rematch? Uh, to me, the first fight means nothing because that was the first fight. That was two years ago. Both guys have went through hell and back ever since then. Now it's all about who can adjust, who can, who, who, who can leave the first fight behind better. Because if they go back there and do the same thing because they, well, I won that time, I'll do the same thing, that's the guy who's going to lose. Okay. Um, you were, I think you were in Vegas when uh, Paco got knocked out by Marquez. Yeah, what did you think when that happened? What did they have by what? When Paco got knocked out, what went through your head? Like To me, that was like my Roy Jones versus Antonio Tarver moment. It was like, it was like I can't, couldn't believe what I, was, what I was seeing. It was like um, Robin Ori hitting that three against the Kings when they, when they eliminated them. It was that thing that you didn't realize what you were watching. You couldn't really absorb it until much later on. And um, we just, it was just like it was the end of an era. And Manny Pacquiao's fighting on borrowed time right now. So yeah. um, every fight is his last fight. Really? If he doesn't win that fight. So okay. every fight really is very important for Manny Pacquiao. Um, you were in his camp a little bit in the Philippines. What did you see out there? He looked a lot better than he did in the past. When he, when he, uh, he was getting ready for the first fight with Bradley, he was laying on the ropes getting beat up by a Russell Pavonikov. Which told me that he wasn't really in shape. And I know he wasn't in shape because he was missing running. He was staying up late at night, having his friends hang out. I didn't see none of that this time. And he, he's trained in his hometown. It's a lot easier for him to deal with the schedule. So Manny Pack had a much better training camp from what I can tell. Got you. Lastly, what's the latest with your boxing career? What are, what's the future hold for you? How is everything? I'm now the sports editor at Rappler.com. We're taking over Filipino media right now. Um, we're doing a lot of great things, innovative things. These people, they gave me the ball. They said, Ryan, you talk a big game. Here's the ball. Go out there and score 50 points. So a lot of pressure on me now. I back myself in a corner with my mouth. You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll look out for you, man. So tell me why.